Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to the brotherhood. Peace and good health to the family. On my way to the gym. I'm only doing a treadmill. Doing the treadmill for an hour at a certain heart rate because it affects the body in a certain manner, which is something that I teach my online clients right now. Right now I have uh, one paid client and two on the seven day trial which is up soon. Hopefully they cross over to pay clients. And as I grow, uh, they grow with me, inshallah. I just want to, the objective is to use my life to affect others in a positive manner. And my contribution is exercise, fitness, mental health, things like that. So I wanted to talk, I wanted to come to y'all and talk about uh, topic because I didn't really have a topic last time I was just you know freestyling rambling like you know talking to y'all like how I talk to my people but this time the topic is unsolicited advice right me and I want to know if y'all like me <laughs> I'd be offended by unsolicited advice you know what I'm saying like it's only a couple people in my life that can give me advice without me asking. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is, like, people be so quick to give advice on things they not even doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like if you travel, right, <laughs> and you and you talking to somebody and you like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We just came back from here. We had a good time, learned a few things, and, it, and they like, nah, you should have went here. <laughs> it, it is like, it'd be okay if that person did more traveling with me or or even been to that place. You'd be surprised if you're telling you to do stuff they never even did. You should have went to Barcelona. You never even been to Barcelona. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. I'd be offended. Like, like who, who, who told you I wanted the advice? Like, you got to be doing what I'm doing or doing it better. And doing it better. You got to be doing what I'm doing and doing it better to give unsolicited advice. You know what I'm saying? It's a, like, if I'm, if I'm excelling in a few spheres of life than the next person... I don't push my opinion and my advice on them. I actually will ask, like, yo, you mind if I put you on this time? You know what I'm saying? Like, some people give unsolicited advice, and their life is not even um, inspirational or, like, you know, they're not doing anything in work, marriage, travel, you know what I'm saying? Fresh, car, you know, memorization, none of that. But they got all this advice on what you should be doing. Not just be offended by that. And I'm wondering if anybody else is like that too. Or is that like a, because uh, I'm always trying to self-check myself. And I'm asking myself this question all the time. And I don't really think it's it's a, um, a product of arrogance. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh... Nobody can tell me nothing. That's not the case. For the people that's doing what I'm doing and have been doing it or doing it better, I'm all ears. But the, for the ones that's not doing anything inspirational, I don't look at your life and be like, I'm inspired by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, like, okay, for example, I got somebody who's, who's, uh, a brother of mine that's living in a car right now. That's living in a car right now. And, but whenever he speaks, I listen. Because I'm inspired by his outlook on life. So don't get it twisted like, oh, you got to be living in a bigger house and tr travel the earth farther for him to want to listen to you. No, what I'm saying is, you got to be doing something I'm inspired by to give me unsolicited advice. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you got to be, you, you can have a, 
a different outlook than me and I'm inspired by that outlook because you willing to put up with the pros and cons that come with that outlook you know what I'm saying so it's like I listen but I don't I don't like nothing nothing you doing is inspiring nothing like you know what I'm saying it's just a lot of talk you got a lot of talk and ideas and opinions on other people other people's life I'm not inspired by that you know what I'm saying? If you making moves, if you getting bread, if you traveling, if you teaching, if you inspiring, you know what I'm saying? If you sticking to the script. I'm inspired by that. You know what I mean? Other than that, like, I just, and I don't, and I don't tell people, yo, what you talking about? I don't want to hear. I just be in my head. I be like, what makes, what makes this guy think like I'm interested in his opinion right now? You know what I'm saying? Like telling me how to live and how to move when I'm winning. Like my method is winning. My method has its pros and cons, but as we can see, with with all due respect, no no uh no arrogance. Like I'm I'm doing my thing, right? Like we, some of us can agree. You know what I'm saying? Without without hate. It's like I see other people doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? And I salute that. Whether it's different than me. Like, say, for instance, this one brother, he sent me pics of his fresh. Like, if he put together a fresh outfit, you know what I mean? He'll send a pic because, you know, I like to get fresh, too. But every pic that he sent, there's nothing in these pics that I would wear. There's nothing in these pics that I would wear. I don't wear, like, you know, lime green, a whole lime green shoe. I say I don't wear that. I'm not telling nobody up, but I'm saying like in none of these pics is anything he has on that I will wear. But the effort that he put in to get fresh, I'm not like, oh, I wouldn't wear it so it's corny. I'm like, nah, it's well put together, even though I wouldn't wear it. You know what I'm saying? So when he has an opinion about fresh. Even though he wears things I wouldn't wear, but he puts it together well, I'm all ears. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a whole nother perspective. So you don't got to be doing what I'm doing, how I'm doing it to for me to listen. I'm just saying, like, there's a respectable way. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to walk up to a millionaire and, you know, just flat out disagree with how he spent his million and tell him how he should have spent it. You're not even in that position to know what goes with that to know what went into getting that you know what i'm saying so i think people should um should you know reel it back in and respectfully ask you know you mind if i give my opinion on that you know what i'm saying because i do that no matter if i'm looking like okay i'm i'm get we in the same class but i'm getting better grades so i should just be able to flat out tell you what you should be doing now nah, it's a respectable way you mind if I speak freely or you mind if I give my opinion on that or you mind if I, you know what I'm saying? I, I just be offended by unsolicited advice from people that's, that I'm, that's not doing anything I'm inspired by. Nothing I'm inspired by to the point where you could just freely give me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing something good. You know what I mean? I remember somebody said that, um, George Bush, you know what I mean? You can't hate a whole person. Yeah, he did this, he did that, he did that. But he has a farm where he takes care of horses. He's taking care of God's creation. You know what I mean? He has an affinity for horses and he takes care of them, feed them, clean them, house them. You know what I'm saying? You got to like that part about him. You might not. So you can't just not like a, a whole person. Not saying nobody's doing that. There's people out here that their whole life I don't see any good in. But am I inspired? I'm not inspired to take care of horses. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know anything about George Bush that I'm particularly inspired by. So I would be offended. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whether he's the ex-president or not. You know what I mean? So I just want to know if y'all feel like that too, man. Or you just, you know what I'm saying? You just brush it off. When people give their unsolicited advice, you just head nod and, you know what I mean? But it has come a time 
a, a few times where I had to tell somebody, hey, yo, hey, yo, like, keep your own opinion to yourself unless I ask, you know what I mean? Or here's the way to go about, if you really feel you have something to say that will benefit me, here's the respectable way to present it, you know what I mean? I'm about to jump in this gym, hit this treadmill, reach this fat burner zone, then I got a lot of data entry to do. I want y'all to stick to the script, hold it down, you know what I mean? And whoever, whatever goals you conjured up in your head that would make you the best you, set out to do those things. You know what I mean, write it down. If it's 10 things and before the day is over, if you only completed five, that's still sticking to the script. Don't set yourself up for perfection. Set yourself up to strive. I'm going.